Good evening. Good morning. Talofalava. Bulavanaka. Tutere Mina. Itswa. Let's ask. Cunt bags over here. Now, a lot of conversations about the Penrith celebrations. I thought I'd just jump on and, you know, just share my opinions. All right? Disclaimer. If you get offended by my opinions, by all means, go fuck yourself. Better yet, go fuck your ass because I don't give a fuck. Now, Mr. Paul Kent Bags has gone, you know, on his little show, 360, talking about, oh, the disrespect to the pe- uh, previous Penrith pe- uh, players and teams. Once uh, James Fisher-Harris here was saying, you know, they're the best Penrith squad. Nothing wrong with saying that. He didn't disrespect anybody while he was saying it. He only disrespected Paul Kent because Mr. Paul Cuntbags got a sore ass. Paul Cunt, shut up, dickhead. And then he starts saying, Mr. James Fisher-Harris here started a chant. He said, para sucks. And everyone was saying, we hate para, we hate para. Hey, Paul Cuntbags. Who gives a fuck? He was in front of the Penrith fans. He's been out all night. He's been having fun. He's the young fella. Let him and his teammates enjoy, right? What would you know about enjoying anything besides a dick in your ass, you fucking idiot? These young fellas, right, under all the pressure that they were faced up against, right, they went back to back, did what most people thought was impossible. And here we have an old cunt by the looks of this fucking left testicle on a cow's son's asshole being slapped by its daddy. You heard correct, fuckface. This bitch of a face. Fuck up, poor you, whinging dickhead. Now you got the brother over here, Mr. Jerome Luai. He's got issues with him too. Why? Why? Oh, there's a smugness about, fuck up, you dickhead. I don't like Jerome when he wears the fucking blue jersey, but I love his fucking attitude. That's what fucking players are made of. But old Paul Bags, fucking whinging behind his desk. Me and you, Paul, charity boxing match, fuckface. Three minute rounds, three rounds. You're going in the first minute, you bitch. Oh, they said it's a term for endearment, mate. You wouldn't know. The fucking slangs, the words that we grew up and how we use it today. Most people I know and who I grew up with, even older people know. My nigga, my nigga. What's up, my nigga? We don't have to be black. We don't have to be niggas. But that's right. Your palangi ass living in your little bubble. Stop getting offended, cunt. You don't know shit. Better yet go, fuck your ass.